Hello everyone. I want you to imagine something. Imagine feeling worthless. Imagine not feeling thin enough or too fat or too ugly or like let's say there is something in your mind telling you or not so much there is something actually i believe there is something but let's say you think that you are thinking that you are too short or you are too tall uh your body parts are like this and they don't look too good and uh your english is not too good and blah 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 let's say that inside of your mind you think negatively about yourself day in and day out pretty much like you feel less than you feel not worthy chances are you may be in depression you may be sad so much you may even randomly cry at times and may not know why so what if you have a conversation let's okay let's say you are the way that i am speaking of so you have so many negative thoughts about yourself like in essence you think of yourself as trash okay let's say you speak to someone and let's say that um you are you are speaking to that person then the person you are speaking with disagreed with you like for an easy example no the sky is blue and let's say you say the sky is red so you guys are going back and forth now you already have low self-esteem you think of yourself in a very low way like as if you are nothing in a bad way so you may become offended at the other person for disagreeing with you because like you may take it as rejection it is not that the person is trying to reject you it is not that that person is telling you horrible things about yourself but you may have a difficult time taking criticism or being disagreed with because how horrible you already feel I hope this is really making sense let me make an easy example let's say you broke your leg real bad and um let's say a person comes by and slap your leg boom what are you going to do are you going to sit there and say ouch no you may <laughs> like flip your arms out and and yell like you may have like a very aggressive reaction okay if someone is being poked all day every day 
being poked. After a while, I believe <laughs> that would be very, very annoying. So, to make this easy to understand, let's say that hurt person has been, that hurt person has been poked by negative thoughts about themselves so much. You are worthless. You are nothing. You are too short. You aren't too smart. You aren't too pretty. Like being poked and poked and poked so much with negativity. Now, chances are that person is going to be feeling bad. So, that person may get irritated much quicker than a normal person. They may explode with anger much quicker than a normal person. Why? Because they are constantly being poked. Let me punch your arm all day. The first, the second, the third punch may not really hurt, but let me punch that thing all day long. All day long. Eventually, I believe you will feel pain. Eventually, I believe you will feel annoyed. Right? Um. Another example, I don't know if I was in pain or was I very, very sleepy. I think I was sleepy. Let's say I was sleepy. And I really had to watch my attitude with a person. Not that that person was doing anything wrong to me, but I was sleepy and I believe I felt myself getting irritated. So I had to watch my tone. If I remember correctly, I may not have this correct, but I believe I had to watch my volume, my tone, and maybe some other things. I don't like using this word, but that person you think is crazy is probably having a very, very difficult time with themselves, with how they view themselves. They may see themselves as less than, as trash, as nothing. So you may disagree with them, but they may take it as rejection. Let's say inside that person's mind, they are being told or they are thinking they are less than. So when you uh, disagree with them or criticize them, constructive criticize, when you give them constructive criticism, they may take it as, well, I was having thoughts of that I am not smart. So for that person to correct me, it's like what I was thinking about myself is true. So even though that person isn't telling me I am not smart, because I think I am not smart, for that person to disagree with me, it's like confirmation that I am not smart. So because he or she disagreed with me, I am going to yell at them. I am going to cuss. I might even fight with that person. Why? 
because that person just confirmed what I believe of myself, even though that person has no idea probably of how I feel about myself. Man, are you really listening? I don't think it is so much about being crazy, but I believe it is about low self-esteem. I believe it is about insecurity. I believe it is about probably not being raised correctly when they were younger. Maybe growing up in a very hostile environment, perhaps. Are you all really understanding this? What if you thought about yourself negatively all day long? Thoughts like you are ugly. You are stupid. You are crazy. My mom doesn't love me. My dad doesn't love me. No one loves me. No one cares about me. I am poor. I am nothing. Like, what type of attitude are you going to have if you have all those negative thoughts in your mind? Do you think you are going to be happy all day long? No, I don't think so. You are going to be hurt, probably. And also, I believe you will be defensive. Ready, ready to fight. Not so much maybe uh, that type of fighting too, but... Um, Argumentative. And this is one of the reasons why it is good to shut your mouth. When you deal with people like that, shut your mouth. Because you may think that person just wants to be difficult. In some cases, that may be true, I guess. But I believe in many cases you are dealing with something that is deeper than what you may know. Yeah, than what you may know and maybe understand. When you disagree with particular people, they may take it as you are rejecting them. I know it sounds insane, but I believe some people take it as that by you telling me I am wrong, if I was that way, I would take it like you don't care about me. Like uh, you think about me the same way I think about myself. And if I think about myself poorly, you think about me poorly as well. I know it sounds wild, but I am telling you, close your mouth. Like, how can you? In some cases, yes, you may need to speak up, but you need to choose your battles over little small stuffs you may need to be quiet. For the bigger things, you may, depending on the case, you may have to say this or that. But be cautious. Because if you argue with a person like that, even if you are right, in a sense, you still kind of lose. There is a person I deal with, and um, I learned to not argue with that. Sometimes I may slip up, but I learned just let that person talk. You know, even if I am right, it is not worth it to 
uh, depending on the case, to say this or that. It is not worth it. Because probably much things we speak about, some things are not really worth arguing about. So choose your battles. You are dealing with, in some cases, a hurt person. And maybe they have been that way for years. So do you think you can take your behind over there, say whatever you want to say, and they take it? I don't think so, man. As Christians, we have to be better. I don't think it is really good to be raising our voice, yelling and arguing. I don't think that is good for Christians. Some cases, in some cases, some people may want to speak even though they are wrong. Imagine that. They may know they are wrong, but they want to speak anyway as if they are right. Imagine that. Let me stop here. May God bless us.